Have you ever thought about making onion rings in an air fryer? Well, you absolutely can, and they come out amazing. I'm Justin from Cooking with Coit. I specialize in clean comfort cooking. And remember, if you love this video, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Let's get started. Let's first go over all the ingredients you need to make this recipe. Onion, flour, panko breadcrumbs, olive oil spray, eggs, buttermilk, paprika, garlic powder, and salt. And the one piece of special cooking equipment you're gonna need for this recipe is an air fryer. Guys, I am so excited to show you this recipe today. Air fryer onion rings are like the quintessential clean comfort food. I'm always striving to make these comfort food recipes cleaner, healthier, whatever I can do to make it feel like you can eat these things more often and you don't have to have all of this guilt. These air fryer onion rings are the perfect example of that because there's just nothing better than like a deep fried onion ring. But today I'm gonna to show you how to do it in the air fryer. It's gonna be very little oil and it's just so much better for you than the classic version. So I'm really excited. First thing we need to do is to cut our onion into rings and it's a little tricky. First, we're going to cut off the end here, just like this. And then we're gonna cut off the other end. Now, that's not the tricky part. The tricky part is we need to remove the outer layer of the onion skin without cutting too far and then damaging the inner layers. And this is what happened when I was recipe developing this one. I accidentally cut too far into it and I almost ruined an entire onion. So let's just be careful and we'll go slow. What I suggest is not using a big knife like this, Let's use a smaller paring knife. And the reason why is that it's gonna give you a lot more control. Very carefully, I'm gonna hold the onion in my hand like this, and I'm going to just very carefully cut, just like that, all the way down one side, being really careful not to go too far. And then now I'm going to peel this outer layer of the onion right off. And that's it. That's all there is to it. I didn't cut too far in, so now the rest of the onion is perfectly intact. From here, I'm going to cut my onion into half inch sized rings. Look at this, guys. I still broke it. I went a little bit too far on my cut. You could use this if you want, but for the demonstration purposes of this video, I'm gonna actually just discard these and use them for something else. But that's okay, only this one little outer layer got damaged, the rest are good to go. So from here, all we're gonna do is to pop out the rings from the rest of the uh, onion. So just go like this, you can use your thumb to kind of push it. And again, you just wanna be very careful not to break them. There we go. Oh, oh, I broke another one. Okay, we have to be careful. I keep telling myself that and I'm not listening to myself. What is going on? Okay, it's almost there. There we go, there we go. Oh, I broke another one. Okay, I'm not even gonna mess with this anymore, here. There we go, these ones are falling out really nice and easily. For some reason, this onion piece is just like cursed. I don't know what's going on. The rest popped out super easy. So you really should only need one onion, but if you mess things up like I did, you might need two. All right, so this amount of onion rings is totally fine for what I'm gonna show you today. If you guys have seen any of my other air fryer videos, you know what is coming next, dredging stations. So from my right to left, I've got flour, half a cup, you can use any kind of flour that you want. Uh, Gluten-free flour works as well too. In the second bowl, I've got buttermilk, a half a cup of buttermilk right here. And in my third bowl, I've got one cup of panko breadcrumbs. I like panko, the best out of the breadcrumbs selection. So use panko if you can find it. If you can only find regular breadcrumbs, that's fine too. So now we're gonna add a little bit of modifications to these three dredging stations. Let's first start with a half teaspoon of paprika, followed by a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. We're also gonna add a full teaspoon of salt. Now let's give this a quick whisk to combine. Next, we're gonna be adding two eggs into our buttermilk dredging station. Let's give these eggs a quick whisk so it combines really nicely with the buttermilk. Now we have our dredging stations all set up. So grab out your first onion ring. We're going to dip it into the flour. And really the point of the flour here is 
not to get the flour to stick to the onion ring because that's not really gonna happen. We want the flour to absorb any of the excess moisture that's still on the onion ring, which will then allow the egg mixture to stick better to it and then the panko mixture as well. So just give it a little bit of, uh, you know, a little mix around in the flour. And then before you take it out, just give it a little tap to shake off any extra. And then you're going to put it into the buttermilk and egg mixture. Now, this is the point at which I switch hands. So I have my dry hand, which is my right hand. That was the flour hand. Then I'm switching to my left hand. I'm going to mix it around in the buttermilk and egg. Take it out of here. And then we're gonna transfer it into the breadcrumbs next. I'm gonna switch hands because this is a dry ingredient. So going back to my dry hand. And then I just basically cover it as much as I can with breadcrumbs. I almost like to fill up the inside here with breadcrumbs and then I kind of move it around and that helps coat the inside of the ring. Now that we've got this onion ring fully prepared for the air fryer, I'm gonna take it and put it on this baking sheet and I'm gonna tell you in a minute why I really prefer a baking sheet as to a plate. So now let's do the rest of the dredging stations with all the rest of the onion rings. Now that we've got our onion rings all laid out on a baking sheet, now we need to spray them with some olive oil spray. The reason why I told you earlier that I don't like putting them on a plate is because a plate is quite small. And when you're spraying olive oil, the oil tends to kind of get all over everywhere. So you wanna have a little bit of a larger working surface. So that's why I like the baking sheet. So just give each of these rings a nice light coat of olive oil spray. And try to get the outside of the rings as well if you can as well as the inside. And then I am going to flip each one of these over and spray the other side as well. You just have to be really careful when you're handling these guys because they will fall apart. The breading's gonna fall off a little bit, so just be very careful. All right guys, so now that we've got all of our onion rings prepared, let's drop them into the air fryer. I'm first going to add a little bit of olive oil into the air fryer basket. Just a light coating right on the bottom. That's all we need. And then very delicately, let's add these one at a time into the air fryer basket. As with any air fryer recipe, you wanna to try to give the food a little bit of breathing room in the air fryer basket. So try not to jam it really close, just give it a little bit of air and that should be good. Now we're gonna cook these onion rings uh, anywhere between nine to 13 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna start the timer at 11 minutes and then I'm gonna check them halfway through. All right, guys, we just hit the halfway mark on the timer. That's five minutes. Let's see how we're doing. Okay. Look at how beautiful they're looking already. They are crisping up really nicely. They definitely need another five minutes, another six minutes at max. So let's pop them back in and we'll finish them off. All right, guys, the 11 minute timer just finished. Let's see how we did. Ooh, my gosh, these look so, so good. They came out perfectly crispy. I'm like a little bit afraid to touch them because they're gonna be so hot. But look at how amazing and beautiful these air fryer onion rings came out. I cannot wait to give them a try. But before I do, if you love this recipe and you wanna see more just like it, check out my air fryer recipes playlist. Okay, let's give them a try. My favorite dipping sauce is ketchup, so I added a little bit here. There is something so comforting about a great onion ring, and these air fryer onion rings are the healthier version. I know you're gonna love these. They are so tasty. I'll see you in the next video.